Melissa, David, it was a frightening night for neighbors as a pickup truck barreled through one yard and ended up in another. I'll step outside so you can see the aftermath behind me still. Tire tracks through the front yard, bricks scattered throughout, and a light pulled down, and now the search is on for the driver. Tire tracks through the front yard. I heard a screeching, loud screeching sound. Uh, woke me up from my sleep. Bricks knocked down and scattered. The aftermath of a crash that woke Renee Dozier up around 1 o'clock Thursday morning. Heard a loud screeching sound and uh, then heard a, a loud boom. That boom was this white pickup coming within a few feet of crashing through her front door and knocking down this street light. The sound was so loud, it, it sounded like a bomb. Dozier, the only one home, called 911. When police arrived, she eventually went outside to see what happened. I was so uh, shocked and I still, at 7 o'clock this morning, still was shaken, you know, by um, just having, waking up, you know, to wake up that way and then to, to see uh, such damage. The truck ended up across the street in Clint Halley's backyard. The people inside ran from the scene before law enforcement arrived. I didn't hear it. So I laid in bed until I saw the lights flashing out outside. Part of his fence destroyed. Newly planted sod torn up. I <laughs> uh, just, I was not happy. But he knows all of this damage can be fixed. If it had been during the day, they'd probably kill some kid. Because kids are always riding their bikes up and down the street and stuff, and he probably would have killed somebody. And that a lot of luck came into play. Grateful that no one was hurt. But you know, as you see, such a small path between the tree and, and the house, gosh, it could have been much, much worse. Well, neighbors tell me the Omaha Police Department police helicopter Able One was brought in for the search. At last check, officers have not found the driver of that pickup truck. Reporting live near 126th and Laurel, Sean Everson, KTV News Watch 7. All right, Sean.